My name is Anthony Ambul. I've been in seminary for a year and a half. I was an altar server from the time that I received my First Holy Communion, which is over 12 years now. And it affected my vocation in giving me a much, a much deeper respect for the liturgy, especially made the step towards seminary a less daunting decision because I was already familiar with what goes on near the altar. The Corpus Christi Altar Serving Program is unique because they demand a staunch respect for the liturgy. And if you're not willing to comply, um, then you won't be allowed, you won't have the privilege to serve. And that doesn't deter people from serving, it just makes the group of guys that do serve, it makes them just great, great people. If it wasn't for the Corpus Christi Altar Serving Program, I don't know if I ever would have gotten into the seminary, and just because of the devotion that they cultivated in my life. It's an opportunity to fall in love with the Eucharist, and you should take advantage of that because it's something you could use for the rest of your life. Only let your son altar serve if you want his life to be changed for the better for the rest of his, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for, the, for the rest of his life. If you want him to be a better man, just let him serve. If not, that's okay too, I guess. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, altar serving is for men. It's not for boys. Maybe I shouldn't have said that.